All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. We didn't film yesterday with uh, ambush here because the owners are up here, and the owners are up here again today too, but we'll put a little bit on film to kind of show you what we were doing yesterday. We're gonna be reinforcing, uh, saddling up with the big saddle and doing some more work with the crash test dummies for you because she got better with it as we were going along, but she wasn't quite comfortable with it, so we're gonna do some more with that today. But I was able to get her up to the rail yesterday and sit on her, which was a good step forward, and I got my foot in the stirrup and kind of put some weight in it and stood off, to, you know, and stood in the stirrup and whatnot, so she's on track and we're making progress, but she's got some issues with the sand pants falling off and she's also got a little bit of an issue with ropes and stuff around her hind legs and they've had some trouble trying to get her trimmed on the hinds which is all kind of part of it so we're going to work a little bit more on that today too. Yesterday was the first day I saddled her up with the big saddle and, and uh, it went okay. She humped around a little bit here and there, but I worked her, I ground worked her a little bit yesterday before I put the saddle on her. Today I'm just putting the saddle on her. I didn't do any ground work or nothing. Just caught her, brushed her a little bit. Put some fly and mosquito spray on her because they're really bad up here and down at my place too. But. Uh, The fly spray is not even hardly affecting these guys. The mosquitoes, that is, because she's still a little bit bothered by the flies and stuff. So we'll try and add a little bit more here so she can concentrate a little bit better. Yesterday I worked her a little bit without the flank cinch on too before I put the flank cinch on. She kind of humped around a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. But this morning I'm just going to lead her out here and I'm going to put the flank cinch on right away and see what she does with it. Hopefully our lessons yesterday kind of soaked in and she'll get better as we go along here. Still a little bit of a roll in her back there, but it's not too bad. Better than what it was yesterday. That was That was better. If things go good today, this is going to be kind of a light day for her because she's worked five days in a row. This is a sixth day, so normally I like to give them off after four or five days 
but you guys are coming up so and they don't hurt her to work longer but you just can't work you just can't work these guys forever without giving them a break and letting them settle down and focus and figure things out you know now this is where we had some issues yesterday with getting her to accept this rope down around her hind quarters and kind of turn around without kicking up and and messing around yesterday she kicked right out right away but today she kind of focused a little bit didn't didn't bother quite as bad so hopefully we'll make a little progress here with that today See, this is going to help her with her hind legs of picking them up and learning how to have something down there messing around with her legs too where she's not going to get so bothered with something down there around her legs. Much, much better on that. We'll let that sit for a little bit. Do a little groundwork with her here, make sure she's listening to me. Still, come on. back to our sand pounce lesson again. For those of you yesterday that saw my post and wanted to know what sand pants are, I told you to go back to my YouTube videos and just look them up because there's hundreds of frickin' videos up there that says sand pants on them, but these are sand pants or my crash test dummies. And these are the little ones they weigh about 20 pounds or so and I use these to start getting these younger horses or getting these horses used to packing around a little more weight and feeling things slide around their back that it's a little bit off center on the weight and stuff so they can start figuring out how to pack an uneven weight and get them used to things falling off them without losing their mind. And yesterday she was good about this standing still here, but then when we started moving her around and I set these things up to fall off, then when they fell off she had a little bit of an issue with that. She, and we had to do some one rein stop training. And, and she humped around a little bit. We got to a spot where 
it was pretty good. And we quit for the day and let her soak on that overnight. So then we're going to come back and review today and see how it goes today. And if it goes good, then we'll move up to the big pants today. Now when I set these up to fall off and I work them around, you always have to work with these pants on the inside of the circle so that you can control their head, do a one ring stop on them. And get them shut down and understanding that something falling off them, which inevitably will, or in the course of their lifetime, is not something to get upset about. And that you can handle it. And we'll be all right. And you don't have to leave the country when something falls off you. And that's kind of what she was doing yesterday. What's that? Only yesterday when we started out, it was a lot more radical than that. So she's starting to figure it out here. That was better. See, with her, keeping her, because she is a little bit more fractious than some colts, I'm shortening up on her lead just a little bit to keep her a little bit more contained and under control when she's moving around here so that she doesn't have a chance to go out to the end of that lead and get so much out of control like she was yesterday. The problem with working in this close though is if they take a wrong jump then they jump on top of me instead of off to the side which is what I want them to do. So I got to really be careful and get my hand up there and, and get blocked and <clears throat> keep her back away from me a little bit. And plus the fact that she has a tendency to come into you anyway when she's a little bothered with something. Makes it a little more tough too, but she's getting better at that too. But mostly it's insecurity with her. It's not that she's really trying to purposely run you over. She's just insecure.
If you guys got any questions as we're going along here, feel free to sing out. I might not answer you right off the bat because I'm concentrating on what I'm doing here, but. Good job, sweetie. And that's kind of the difference between what she was doing yesterday and stopping at a point where she's starting to figure it out and give her a chance to think about it and soak on it. And today was much, much better and we adapted a lot quicker. On both, round the rope around her hips was a lot better today too compared to yesterday. So that's what we like to see is just progress. Now, these are something a little different. These are my big sand pants. And these go about 75, 80 pounds. So, this is not so much about falling off. It's more about packing some extra weight and getting used to getting her to start moving her feet. They might, we might have these fall off too, but this is more about figuring out how to pack the extra weight and the legs flopping around and her getting used to what a heavier object is gonna be. Stay out there now. Directions over there. Because these are a lot heavier, they're, I can allow her to trot a little bit even without even tying these on because they don't shift around very much unless I really get them set up to where they're going to fall off. You can't lope them like this without tying them down, but doing a little bit of trotting here and there and getting them used to things. It's pretty easy if you got them evened out good. What's that? Most of them won't. Most of them will do everything they can to stay away from them. And that's 
just a horse thing. But I want to make sure that they don't jump over the top of somebody and run off either. Yeah, she's just trying to figure out where her space is still and where my space is. Take directions without crowding me. And I work a little bit here and there on keeping her out more, but you got to pick one thing at a time. Concentrate on that. Don't allow her to get really egregious about coming in here on me, but we're working on the sand pants right now, not on respecting my space. See, this side today is a little better than the other side. Yesterday it was that side that was a little bit better. Well, that's good. So we can cut it there and then we'll move on to something else.